So this will be a quick response to Techne Episteme. I already posted uh, a whole slew of comments under his first video. Um, so I don't have uh, too much left to say here, but I just watched part two um, of his series of videos uh, called Defending Materialism. And, um, you know, he says that basically he's a reductionist and the most fundamental um, things in the universe are material and that morality and science and these other things aren't uh, non-existent. They're just abstractions or um, the immaterial qualities built up of these more fundamental components in some way. Um, and I think, you know, pan-experientialism is also a form of materialism, but it's a materialism which recognizes that um, matter is no longer conceived of scientifically as a collection of atoms. Um, there are atoms, but atoms are not the most fundamental components of matter. Uh, really, we don't know what the most fundamental components of matter are, or even if there are any fundamental components of matter. We talk about energy today, and energy is always in motion, and we measure this motion and come up with these theoretical entities, which anything really below an atom is a theoretical entity that we use to sort of define the readings of the energy going on at that level that we pick up with our detectors. But are there really quarks floating around? Well, there's something like a quark that only arises in interaction with all these other types of particles, but the thing is, we don't know what matter is. And to talk about it being anything at all, as some kind of substance, is what pan-experientialism or process philosophy wants to get out of. Instead of trying to figure out what matter is, we want to see what it does, what process uh, it reveals to us. And when you look at the way energy has uh, developed in our universe, you see that it moves toward greater complexity and it organizes itself and it becomes more aware and so forth. And so, you know, all of pan-experientialism as a metaphysical system follows. And really, this is why Whitehead um, came up with this metaphysical system, because the Newtonian conception of the material world as a mechanism of billiard balls banging into each other collapsed in light of relativity and quantum physics at the start of the last century, he had to rethink uh, what could be underlying this reality. And process philosophy and pan-experientialism is what he came up with. Um, so I guess the question is, um, what what is matter to you? What do you think it is? And do you disagree that we shouldn't really be asking what it is anymore because it's not really a substance, it's a process. Uh, and as soon as we take that step and recognize that, that it's a process, um, I think we see that, you know, what pan-experientialism is doing is not a dualistic approach where it sees there's material stuff and then an experiential component that kind of attaches to it. If you recognize matter not as a substance, as something requiring nothing but itself in order to exist, but rather as a process of becoming, which is creative and is always emerging into these new forms, and um, as it emerges into these new forms, becomes more conscious because these forms are constantly complexifying, then you see that there must be some inner aspect, not a separate substance, but an inner aspect that is, in fact, this material. Um, you, you can see that it's, it's one and the same process, rather than two separate substances, mind and matter, interacting with one another and influencing one another. It's one process of becoming. Um, and so maybe, you know, seeing it in, this ter in these terms helps to uh, get rid of this sharp division that we're still um, conceptualizing between mind and matter. Um, because pan-experientialism is trying to say that matter is not a substance, okay? Um, so I'll stop repeating myself, and uh, let me know what you think of uh, these lines of thoughts. So thanks for your two responses. I really enjoyed them, and I uh, hope we can keep this going. Take it easy.